of Revelation, the ninth chapter, and verse 12, it read, One war is past, and behold, there are come two wars more hereafter. All praise, and honor, and glory, and to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Lakaha, Kadash, and Bahana to Zelda, and apostles of the Mason who do well. A peace, a blessing, and a salutation to you. I am pushing this rules to the four winds of the heaven and being on the forefront of this spiritual war. And to make sure Jerusalem is established as a praise, a healing again, as in the days of old. So it is another lesson coming to you through the spirit of Yahba Hashem Yashai. And this lesson was inspired by the former Russian president, man. I see. And he was going to the sixth seal. It was the sixth trumpet, man, in which it will be preceded by a nuclear annihilation of the continental of the United States of America from shore to shore, both the 10th FEMA region. And this was documented by the whole ancient prophecies in which he they are our forefathers, amen. Uh, you see? So, amen. Really, uh, see, the destruction of America, man, will come from an aerial point of view. And the heart torment will be appreciated from an aerial point of view. And uh, there is the only one way you can get out of America, and that's through an aerial escape. <laughs> you see? So it will be an aerial destruction uh, followed by an aerial escape and her torment will be appreciated through an aerial point of view. As the scripture is uh, it calls the uh, uh, prophet uh, 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 having the testimony of Yahweh uh, Shai man. Uh, see we are like a witness man to everything which is going on here on the planet, yes, man. And uh, not only witness, we are standing at the forefront, man, risking our life. It's like how it is in the court, man. You go to testify, man, see, against a certain case, and they see you there, man. They mark you. They can come for you. That's what we are doing. And what really is going on, we are testifying of everything we see. You see? And that's where you get that word, a true witness. I mean, we are not living anything. We are telling it as it is. See? So we are condemning this press, man. And at the end of the, of the, of the, of the day, this press will be judged. According to the judgment written in the book, the constitution in which it is, it is the Bible. You see? And we will be there to appreciate the judgment because we are witness. So we will witness the judgment of this whole. And because we are testifying against it. And we will witness through an aerial point of view. So let's start with see as a destruction of America in which it really, it really comes through an aerial point of view. Let's go back to Revelation the eighth chapter. Uh, you see. So this is Revelation the eighth chapter, starting at verse six. It says, "And the seven angels which had the seven trumpet uh, prepared themselves to sound." It says, "The first angel sounded, and Zela, and Zela followed the hail in the fire, mingled with the blood." So, where does the hail come? And hail does not come like a flood. It comes from, this is the sky, from an aerial point of view. You see? And that was going to the nuclear missile. You see, and they were cast upon the earth, and the third part of the tree was burned up, and all green grassy was burned up. The second angel sounded, and all it was a great mountain burning with fire. You see? The great mountain was going to the nuclear missiles, was cast into a sea, see? So from one aerial point of view, and the third part of the sea became blood, you see? 
I see. Let's go to verse 10. It says, The third angel sounded, there are fairy great star from heaven. From one area point of view, burning at his way a lamp, and it fell upon a third part of the river, and upon the fountain of the waters. You see? From one area point of view. You <laughs> see? Eh? It's all coming together, man. Mm -hmm. So from there, Mm -hmm. Let's go to the uh, book of uh, mm -hmm. the book of uh, Isaiah. So, another point, this is not the one yeah, you wanted, man, but it's all good. Say so Isaiah 13 in verse 17, it say, Behold, I will stir up the mead against them which shall not regard, as for gold they shall not delight in it. Their boys shall dash the young men to pieces, they shall have no pity on the foot of the womb. The eyes shall not spare children, you see. The point was their bows. You see? And that 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 way the bows there it goes into the nuclear thylos if you can get it, man. You see? <coughs> and the hot come from the bow, man, the arrow. You see. You see. Let me see. And the I'm getting a deja vu while I'm doing this video, man. <laughs> it's very strange. Mm -hmm. But let me see. I think it is a book of. I think it is in the book of. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Second days was me. So many like this. This is the book of Second Ezra 16 and 13. It says, For strong is his, is his right hand that he bendeth the bow, his arrow that he shorteth, as sharp shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the end of the world. Hold that, hold that. Let's go to the book of Revelation. This is the book of Revelation 9, man. See, let's continue from the verse 12 on down to say, and the sixth angel sounded, and I hear the voice from the four horns of the golden yatta, which is before the Messiah, saying to the sixth angel which had the trumpet, arose the four angels which are bound in the great river of Fleti, and the four angels were arose, and which were prepared for an hour, and a day, and a month, and a year for to say, said, but man, that was going to Esau, 
the number of the army, the horsemen were 200,000, and here is the number of them. And thus I saw the holes in the vision, them that sat on them having breastplate of fire, of giants of brimstone, and the head of the horses, whereas the head fly on and out of their mouth issued fire and smoke and brimstone. By this three was a said part of man killed by fire, by smoke, and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouth. So this was going to the nuclear missiles. And verse 17 specifically was going to the mechanism how the nuclear missile go from the nuclear silo uh, and the payload uh, go through the process known as the, re-ent- the re-entry vehicle into the upper an- atmosphere, into the end of the world. That's why I told you to hold the second Ezra 16 about the arrows being shot to the end of the world. You see, so that is from an aerial point of view. So you have the re-entry vehicle and when they reach their target, they go from the upper atmosphere to ground zero. That's where the impact is felt. You see? That's why the script in verse 18 is tell you by this three was the said part of men killed by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone which issued out of the mouth after the impacting. You see? After the impacting. So that that's the one type of destruction which will come from a nuclear annihilation. The second part of destruction, it will come through the, the, the chariot. That will be an aerial, uh, 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 from an aerial point of view, destruction from an aerial point of view. Ethel, you see, the Quran 5, starting in verse 1, it says, Then I turned and lifted my eye. So it is, is the, the Quran is looking up. So the chariot is up. You see? That's an aerial point of view, if you can get it. It might be from a straight angle or an oblique angle, whatever, man. You see? He said, I looked and behold a frying lord. And he said unto me, What is this? So I answered, I see a frying lord. The length thereof is 20 cubic, the breadth thereof is 20 cubic. Then he said he unto me, This is a curse that go forth over the, 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 the face of the whole earth. Everyone that still shall be cut off as on this side according to it, you see. And what did the Edomat in America did? They stole, lab, lob, and murdered. So they will get that <laughs> judgment from an aerial point of view. And everyone that swears shall be cut off as on, that, on, on that side according to it. I will bring it forth, hold the child. Say the Lord forced it shall enter into the house of the thief. Hold that. All that, let's go to she. Let's go to the thunderbolt, man. <laughs> wisdom of Solomon five, you see, and they will come back here. So to wisdom of Solomon five, you see, wisdom of Solomon five, verse twenty one. It says, "Then shall the right aiming thunderbolt go abroad from an aerial point of view, and from the clouding up from a well drawn bow." You see, as I was telling you. A bow also can represent a chariot. A bow can represent, represent a missile silo. Uh, where are those high, high concentrated leather beam will become? They shall fly to the mark. What is the mark, man? The mark is America. <laughs> Destruction, man. You see? And let me prove it to you. The mark is America, man. Let's go to the book of Matthew. Really quick, man. Yeah, about uh, how I shine, man. You see? It says, Matthew 24 and 27, For as the lightning, lightning come out of the east, from an aerial point of view, shines even to the west, so shall the the coming of the Son of Man be, for wherever the carcasses tell her, with the eagle be gathered together. So that's the one part, man, about the destruction see, of this horror of Babylon will come from an aerial point of view. So is the deliverance. <laughs> The only way you can be able to escape from America is through an aerial point of view. You ain't gonna hop on your plane and try to free when you see the missile about to touch ground zero. That ain't gonna happen. You ain't gonna enter into a bunker or, or a basement or hide behind a desk uh, to escape the nuclear blast. That ain't gonna happen. So it has been documented in the, the, the Holy Scriptures, man. The only way you can be able to escape out of America is through an aerial point of view. 
through a tractor beam man. You see in that Revelation 15 and verse 1 it says, And I saw another thigh in, in heaven, a great and marvelous seven angels having the seven last plague man. For with them is filled up the last of the Most High. And the seven plagues that was going to completion. What is a complete number of plague man? The nuclear destruction. Verse 2 it says, And I saw as it were, it were a sea of grass being God with fire. When Apostle John was, was seeing this, he was over there in the firmament, appreciating the torment of the whore from an aerial point of view. <laughs> you see? He said, and them that had open, gotten the victory over the bestie, over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, standing on the sea of grass, you see? And the firmament having the harp of the Messiah, and they sing the song of Moses, the song of victory. You see? This was going to the two witnesses, and as, as I was starting this video, I was going to the witness. We are testifying against the wickedness of this place, man. And we will be there to uh, appreciate the judgment of it, therefore, man. That's, that's the righteous thing, man. You see? We testified and we will see the judgment. It's like in the court, man. He said the song of the Lamb, saying, Greet the marvelous that you walk, Lord Almighty. You see? Lord Power Almighty, in true are thy way, the King of the of the, of Saint, who are the Saint. You see, who shall not fear thee, O Lord? Glorify thy name. You see, for though only at though for all nations shall come and worship before thee, for thy judgment are made manifest. You see, hold that, hold that, brother, hold that. Let's go, let's go back. Wisdom of Solomon, man. Let's finish with Wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon, five. Starting at verse 1, it says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such have afflicted him and made no account of his labor. When they shall seize him, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. That's going on right now. They shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. So far beyond all that they have looked for from an aerial point of view. The highest technology, man, the tractor beam. You see, it will be employed. Our, our our salvation really defies the law of physics, man. I see, and they repenting and groaning for anxious hostility, they shall say within themselves, This will be whom we had sometimes in derision and the proverb of reproach. We fully account his love for madness and his end to be without channel. This is as an elite, man, in their bankers, man. They will be seen, they get beamed up, man. You see, you see, from an aerial point of view. 90 degree angle. See, you ain't gonna hop in your plane, your plane. you ain't gonna hop in your helicopter, you ain't gonna free, you see, uh, like you witches, man, you, 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 you like to fly with your brooms, you ain't gonna free with your broom, man, that day, man. There's only one escape. Through an area point of view, you get beamed in, boom. See, so it's this I say, I shall have my hope you brothers were defied, man.